Good evening. I'm Glenn Chaplin, and welcome to NISA TV News. Tonight our focus will be on this year's video projects from the 2007 video class. But first, our top story. This past Saturday, a superhero battle of epic proportions took place in the fields surrounding Bogart Hall Dormitory here at Ithaca College. Now, Nguyen was there for the battle, and we go to him now for this report. Thanks, Glenn. On Saturday, this seemingly calm field behind me was the scene of a confrontation that will echo in the surrounding woods for decades to come. I was upstairs listening to my Will Smith CD, and um, I just came down here and I see Batman fighting, and I was scared for my life, you know, because, like, Batman and Batman, kind of scary. It all started with a uh, wardrobe malfunction. We both ended up wearing the uh, same costume. I had a gala my roommate and I had to go to. It was a benefit for people in wheelchairs. And um, this asshole wore the same thing I wore. I don't know how it happened. Everything's tailored to fit me, but I guess he's a herb. And he just lost weight to fit into my thing. He thinks that I was uh, copying him. But what he really doesn't know is that I am the real Batman. The fight, if you pay attention to the beginning of the footage, you'll realize that I drop Batman on his ass multiple times. I could have laid him out in a minute, but I was just doing it because either way, it's going to make Batman look bad, you know? So I waited to kick his ass. I did get his cape. If you look right here, I took it from him, which... The cape? That was a low blow. That was on call for. If Batman wants to talk about low blows, he needs to look back at the history. When I was fighting Mr. Freeze, Penguin, Poison Ivy, the Joker, the Riddler, Superman, everything they did was a low blow. All I had were low blows. This isn't a game of chivalry. We're not knights in shining armor. Nothing, none of that bull crap. This is a game of life or death, and I'm willing to do whatever it takes to protect Gotham City, even if it means wiping my boat from someone else's cape. Who do you think won in this battle? Well, Bat Batman seemed to have Batman beat for a while, but then Batman got Batman's cape. It was settled then. Ba Batman definitely won. I think Batkev, because he, when he took the cape, the cape off of Batrob, it was like... Well, a lot of people thought that uh, Batman won that battle because of the whole cape incident. But the actual fight proves that I was the victor. The cape incident. Ooh, I stole a cape. Ooh. There was no skill involved in that. There was no fight. There was no passion in that. Batman with the weird hair, like, just sucker punched the other guy. And it's like... Are you calling it a cheap shot? No, 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 of course not. I mean, Batman with weird hair is just like, it's just awesome. I mean, like, sometimes you gotta do stuff like that. So you're saying Batman with weird hair is the superior warrior? Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, Batman, but we need an apology. Uh, Batman, sorry. Uh, what happened again? Uh, tell everybody I said hi. Batman, thanks for saying you're sorry. Um. It was a rough time. Listen to Batman, not Batman. He's bad. If you ever see Batman, you come get Batman, because he'll protect you from the Batman. Batman's good. Batman's bad. Trust Batman. Hopefully, the citizens of this quiet community will never have to witness anything like this ever again. This is Nam Nguyen reporting live in front of Eastman Hall, Ithaca College. Back to you, Glenn. Thank you, Nam. And speaking of the true Batman, we now turn to our chief meteorologist, Kevin Gannon, with tonight's weather forecast. Kevin? Thanks, Glenn. Good evening, Ithaca. It's a nice, cool night here at a low of 62 with a little bit of showering. Thursday night's more or less the same with a high of 86 and a low of 67. Unfortunately, it's not a very good beach day as the rain's going to be a little bit more intense. Friday, more rain. Bring out the umbrellas. Open up the jackets. It's the high of 75 and a low of 67. Saturday, a lot of rain. In fact, the world is going to end. Floods are going to wipe over the entire East Coast and come down to California, and they'll be probably the last remaining people on the planet Earth. I'm not going to tell you the highs because I'm going to be in a bunker on my private island I bought with the money I made off of exploiting celebrities that you sucked up. 
thanks a lot, and maybe I'll see you. Good night. <laughs> That's impossible, Kevin. You're an asshole. Thanks, Kevin. That's some command of the English language you got there. What is video? And for that matter, what is film? Academics and laymen have pondered that very question for decades. Recently, our crack investigative reporter, Jacob Abarello, met up with a few NISA videographers and posed those very questions. Thanks, Glenn. I went around campus uh, and, and talked to some people about film and or video, uh, because many people have interest in them, but aren't quite sure what the subtle differences are between the two. So let's see what they said. Video is like this awesome thing where you can edit whenever you want, and it's really cool, and you can do cool stuff with it. And film, just, no. Film is on a, a little strip thingy, and video is in a cassette. Video is, uh, video is sort of this new uh, surge that's coming into our culture that's uh, letting, uh, how do I put it into words? Film is a crocodile. Video is a hippopotamus. Who wins at a fight and why? I would have to say video wins in a fight because hippopotamuses are awesome. Giving every person an opportunity to make movies rather than just the select few that can afford the film. I'm going to do two different dances. I need you to tell me which one is film and which one is video. Um, film, video. Or have the willpower to do film. If film were a body of water, which one, which one would it be? And, and why would you go sailing there? <laughs> It'll be a big body of water full of animals. But film still represents our history. I'm sorry, cut. What? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Who found this guy? What kind of animals do you think would be in here? <laughs> uh, kangaroos. I think that covered exactly what we needed to know about film and video. This has been Jake Alberella. Back to you, Glenn. Thanks, Jacob. That was most confusing. <laughs> Thanks for joining us this evening. Before we go, let's check in with Kevin Gannon, our chief meteorologist, one more time. Kevin? Well, thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Good night. And pack lots of dry underwear. All right, Clyde.